So it was my 18th birthday, and of course that meant one thing. I was finally able to go on my first legal night out. No longer would I have to suffer rejection from shopkeepers or get yelled at by parents in the park for getting hammered where the kids' five-a-side tournament was happening. I was finally gonna be able to get fucked out of my face legally. So there I was in my room getting ready, spending ages on my hair, putting on all of my best cologne, <coughs> trying on loads of different dress shirts, getting mad formal with it. I didn't even put this much effort into my nan's funeral. I picked up my keys, wallet, phone, and of course that oh so important ID. Boom, motherfucker. This time, nothing was gonna stop me getting in. Meet up with the boys, get a night bus into town. I thought it was gonna be the best night out of my life, but it turned out to be the shittiest birthday I've ever had. Thank you. Cheers, man. ID. Uh, course, mate. Not your mate. Not coming in with this. It's three days out of date. Dude, it's a passport. If everyone came in with an out of date passport, it'd be chaos. Now fuck off. Absolute dickhead. Come it is my birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Now fuck off. Tell me, everyone. You're welcome. This was meant to be the best night out of my life. And now I had to go home on my own, come up on a pill, and watch Babe Station. It's not how I wanted to start adulthood. That bouncer ruined my 18th birthday. So here's what I wish I'd said. Oh, happy birthday. Now fuck off. Nah, you fuck off. Three days ago, this could have got me into any country in the world. And now you're telling me it can't get me into one of Croydon's most stabby nightclubs. The dress policy is literally would rather you turn up in shoes. I'm just doing my job. Yeah, so were the Nazis. And you're not doing your job that well because my mates just managed to smuggle two grams of MDMA past you. You're checking women's handbags for a living. You're hardly stopping ISIS. Is this what you wanted to be when you grew up? Is this how you deal with your repressed homosexuality? Oh, God, you're right. I'm sorry. The truth is, I've had so much rejection in my life. I suppose on some level, I'm trying to get my revenge. Mm. I've never got over the fact I wanted to be a rhythmic gymnast. And that's for repressed homosexuality. Actually, come to think of it, I'm pretty glad I didn't say that. To be honest, I really should get that passport sorted out because last month I tried to go on holiday with it and that was way harder. This is out of date. Are you being serious? I mean, you're stopping ISIS for a living. It's hardly like you're checking women's handbags. 